so let's talk about what you call a linkage map so how we're talking about a linkage map what's a linkage ma map It's simply a genetic map so what is a genetic map genetic map is a representation of genes in a different locus of a DNA or of a chromosome so if you have a chromosome here we have different genes so we have gene 1 here we have gene 2 here we have gene 3 here so there are different genes uh, which is sit on the chromosomes as you know in eukaryotic cells we have lots of junk part in the chromosomes which actually not function as a gene which not functions as a, as a, a encoded material for co uh, for coding proteins and in in these chromosomes we have these genes and uh, and those genes uh, are separated with each other via different nucleotide sequences for example we have suppose here seven nucleotide di sequence difference we have 10 nucleotide sequence difference so the nucleotide sequence that separates those gene apart we call them the map uh, unit we have seven nucleotide sequence difference we call it the seven map unit and we have an, we have 10 so we have 10 map units so the distance between those genes are actually measured by the distance between those genes via those distance via those nucleotide sequence that that separates them apart okay in this case what we are having we are having three different genes we are we are researching with three different genes of uh, the drosophila so in this drosophila fly three different genes for for example we have this gene cn we have this gene vg which is for wing color before the uh, before the body color and we have the same gene and if we if we put them together in the linear form what we are having if we, if we conducted a different experiment like morgan did like this kind of experiments and through these experiments we have the experimental result and with those experimental results we can determine the recombination frequency how can determine the recombination frequency we are actually adding the, uh, the those those recombinant uh, uh, recombinant phenotypes and we divide those recombinant phenotypes with the overall offspring that are formed and uh, after uh, the we dividing that we we uh, multiply them into 100 to make a percentage to have an achieve a percentage value and we are achieving percentage val value by crossing these different uh, different uh, genotypes like this uh, we are using dihybrid hybrid crosses to do that after doing them what we are having we have a this recombination frequency of 9% between the V and C and we have recombination frequency of 9.5% between C N and VG and uh, that we add them together and finally what we have is a recombination frequency of 17% between this B and VG with what we previously discovered here by this Morgan experiment and from there we can determine where these genes are located in the gene uh, in the in the chromosome of Drosophila so that's really help us to determine where the genes are located in not only Drosophila but in different many organisms, uh, many important and individual organisms. Okay. Okay. And uh, this linkage map, how can we make this linkage? And, and let's talk about the idea of linkage in little bit great detail. For example, let me erase all this again, uh, and after that we'll discuss it. So erase all these things, and after erasing, uh, let let me talk. Yeah, uh, in this m in this idea of linkage says uh, that we have we have uh, let me erase this again. We have talked about, for example, we have this chromosome. So we have this chromosome, and in this chromosome we have a gene one here. So we have gene one, and we have this gene two. We have another chromosome here, and in this chromosome we have uh, here uh, another gene gene. One, uh, gene two and uh, gene three and gene four. So we have G three, uh, uh, G four, for example, and we have uh, G one and we have a G two here. Okay. We have different genes. Okay, this is, this is the chromosome number one. We have the chromosome number. Two. We have different genes in these chromosomes. Let me change the color to demonstrate you. So in this chromosome what you are looking at, in the first chromosome we have two genes in one chromosome. That Morgan stated us that two genes can be present uh, in, in the same chromosome. Two, two di different genes which indicate two different traits and not only two, there are many genes can be present in the same chromosome. And that's what is going on. That's what we can find in any highly organized structure like human and any mammals like this. So they can also find this. So, so in this case, what you are looking at, two two genes are located very very closer. If two genes are located really closer, the chance of recombination between these genes with other chromosomes is really 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 fewer. But in this case, we have chromosome two. The gene three and gene four are located really really distant apart from each other. That gives them the freedom to be transferred, to be swapped, or to be to be translocated from one one chromosome to another chromosome via the recombination really fast. So if we have genes which are separated long distance apart, have a higher tendency of having recover uh, recombination. Okay. 
so they have a, uh, they have a, a, a losing linkage they have they are not tightly linked so, so a loosely linked in this picture what we are having two genes their genes are situated really close if the genes are situated in this place they are, they'll be more close so more the close the more close the genes situated in a same chromosome the m the less frequency of having crossing over is established and that is uh, uh, that is a uh, demonstrated that's a fact that's a fact actually okay so that's why it is important uh, for the for understanding this linkage in these cases okay so this is linkage so linkage means to have those two genes uh, at the point where that, wo that where those were at the time uh, so we have, we have the chromosome 1 we have gene 1 and gene 2 in the chromosome 1 so during those cell division and uh, meiosis uh, division, these genes are uh, the, the 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 chance uh, of probability of separating those genes apart via crossing over is really smaller. So the, the in this case, though the recombination frequency between these genes will be smaller. That's why I'm going to I'm talk, uh, I'm actually intending intending to say, in this picture the recombination frequency will be higher because uh, the recombination chance or probability of recombination uh, occurred between these two genes during cell meiosis division is higher and that's why if we conduct a map we have a small recombination frequency so you have a small map unit distance that will give up the exact amount of the, those uh, genetic positions and this picture we, that also gives us that's why we use a linkage map to conduct the genetic map that's why we use a linkage to conduct the genetic